Let us see this video. What does this video show? These are pulsations in the neck and we see that they have an upper level. This is an arterial pulse and we see it carefully. This is a very prominent A wave. So this is called Canon A wave. Now we see along with this, there is an ECG strip of this patient showing that there are ventricular ectopic beats. Now these Canon A waves uh, are seen in the jugular venous pulsation when there is contraction of the atrium against a closed tricuspid valve. When the right atrium contracts against a closed tricuspid valve, all of the pressure of the right atrium is transmitted back into the venous system because there is no valve at the proximal end of the right atrium. So all the pressure in the right atrium is transmitted upward towards into the uh, superior vena cava and then into the neck vein. So this we see as large prominent A wave. It's called Canon A wave. Now Canon A waves, they usually are seen in conditions when the uh, P wave falls on the QRS complex, either on the QRS complex or in the ST segment or on part of the T wave. That means during the ventricular systole, a P wave arises which causes contraction of the atrium. So ventricle is already contracting, the tricuspid valve is closed and the patient can have a big uh, surge of wave in the neck that is seen as cannon wave. Now cannon wave can be irregular, they can be regular. The irregular cannon waves, they are seen in cases in patients who got complete heart block or uh, ventricular ectopic beats. So when the patient has multiple premature contractions or patient has a complete heart block, the cannon waves are irregular. They are not regular, but sometimes we see regular cannon waves. The regular cannon waves are seen in conditions, for example, if the patient has junctional rhythm or the patient has junctional tachycardia. In these two conditions, the rhythm is arising actually from the AV node. So P wave is traveling proximally into the atria and the QRS down into the ventricles. So they are contracting simultaneously. The result is the loss of that sequential contraction of atrium and ventricle. So the when ventricle is contracting at the same time, the atrium also contract and that results in backward transmission of the pressure because because of the ventricular contraction, the tricuspid valve is closed. So you can see this in junctional rhythm or in junctional tachycardia. Similarly, you can see this thing in patients who've got ventricular tachycardia with retrograde conduction. If they have a rapid retrograde conduction, which is regular in ventricular tachycardia, you can find a regular fast occurring Canon A waves. And then sometimes you can also see this uh, Canon A wave in patients who've got uh, sinus rhythm but they have first degree heart block. In those patients you can see Canon A waves and this is usually seen in children who got rheumatic fever. So these are the various reasons for patients having Canon wave. Again Canon waves are actually large A waves because of the atrial contraction against a closed tricuspid valve. Uh, they can be regular, they can be irregular. The irregulars are seen in ventricular ectopics and the uh, complete or third degree heart block while regular cannon waves, waves are seen in junctional rhythm and junctional tachycardia or ventricular tachycardia with retrograde conduction and in some patients who got first degree heart block this can be seen in sinus rhythm as well.